Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well. In this short lesson, I'm going to show you some useful phrases and expressions for making business phone calls. Welcome back to English for Professionals. I'm Derek and I'm here with another short lesson for you busy people. Before we get started, a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel hit that red button and don't forget to click on the little bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new lesson. And join my email list. Every two weeks I send out my free vocabulary email with additional business English, words from the news and everyday English for you to learn. The link is in the description below. And now let's get started with the lesson. I'm going to show you some standard telephone phrases, but I'm also going to show you some different variations, some that you probably haven't heard before. And we'll start with answering the phone. The most professional way to answer the phone is by saying hello, company name, your name, followed by speaking, and how can I help you, or how may I help you. For example, hello, English for professionals, Derek Callan speaking, how may I help you? If you want to be a little less formal but still professional, just say your first name. Hello, English for Professionals, Derek speaking, how may I help you? This might be okay for some companies, but other companies will prefer the more formal version. Making a call and saying who's calling. Hello, this is your name from your company. Could I speak to, please, or I'd like to speak to. For example, hello, this is Derek Callan from English for Professionals. Could I speak to Maria Cortez, please? Sometimes it can be necessary or helpful to mention someone you both know. For example, I'm a colleague of Michael Davis. He said I should call you about. Giving a reason for the call. I'm calling in connection with, or I'm calling with regard to, or I'm calling to inform you about, I'm calling to discuss, or I'm calling to arrange. Asking who's calling. If the caller doesn't give their name, you can ask, may I ask who's calling? Or may I have your name please? If the caller does give their name but it was too quick for you to understand, you can say, I'm afraid I didn't quite catch your name at the start. Would you mind repeating it? Saying it's you. Sometimes you'll answer the phone and the caller will say, for example in my case, could I speak to Derek Callan please? So they don't realise that you are the person they want to speak to. The most common response here is speaking. Speaking. I know it sounds strange, but that's what we usually say. You could also say, yes, this is he, or yes, this is she, or a little less formal, you're speaking to him, or you're speaking to her. Connecting the caller. Sometimes the person calling wants to speak to someone else, so you need to connect them. Just a moment please, I'll connect you now. Or, just a moment please, I'll put you through now. Asking the caller to wait. Do you mind if I put you on hold? Or, would you mind holding? Saying that the other person isn't available. I'm sorry, but he's not available at the moment. Or, I'm afraid she's on another call. Taking a message. Would you like to leave a message? Or, I'll ask her to call you back as soon as I see her. Or, if you'd like to leave a message, I'll make sure she gets it. Dealing with connection problems. I'm sorry, but you're breaking up. There must be a bad connection. I can barely hear you. Or, I can hardly hear you. When someone is breaking up, it becomes impossible to understand them because the connection is so bad. When we say we can barely or hardly hear someone, it means we can almost not hear them at all. 
I'm afraid the reception here isn't very good. Can I call you back a little later? The reception is basically how strong and clear the signal is. If the reception is bad, then the connection will probably be bad and you'll start to break up. Dealing with quiet speakers. Could you speak up, please? To speak up means to speak louder. Or, would you mind speaking a little louder, please? Dealing with fast speakers. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Could you repeat it, please? Or, could you please speak a little slower? So I think this is one of the hardest things to do on the phone, is to deal with fast speakers. So you ask them to slow down, and they do. But after a few seconds, they speed up again, and you can't follow them. If this happens, you really need to put your foot down. It makes no sense at all if the call ends and one or even both speakers have not understood the content of the call. When both speakers do understand, it's a win-win situation. And that's what you want. So if you've asked the other person to slow down several times and they're still speaking too fast, try this. I'm very sorry, but I'm having trouble following you. Please slow down. Or, I'm really sorry, but if you don't speak more slowly, I simply won't be able to understand you. If the speaker ignores your requests for them to slow down, then you might even have to end the call. I'm very sorry, but I think I'll have to end the call now. It doesn't make sense to continue if I can't follow you. Now this all depends on who the caller is. If it's someone very important, then maybe it's not the right option. Checking information. I just want to make sure I got your name right. It's Patel. P-A-T-E-L, right? Sometimes you might need someone to spell their name, especially if it's a name you've never heard before. Would you mind spelling your name for me? Use the international spelling alphabet to check that you've written names and addresses correctly. So that's T as in Tango. So that's Y as in Yankee. I'll include the alphabet in the video description. If someone gives you a name, number, or address, or anything important, use the following phrase to check and make sure you've got it exactly right. Let me just read that back to you, please. Ending the call. Is there anything else I can help you with? Or is there anything else I can do for you? It was nice talking to you. Or thank you very much for your call. Thanks and speak to you soon. Have a nice afternoon or have a nice evening or have a nice weekend. So that brings us to the end of another short lesson. I hope those telephone phrases will be helpful to you in your future business phone calls. I've included all of them in the description below, including the international spelling alphabet. If you like the lesson, hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and join my email list. Every two weeks I send out my free vocabulary email with additional business English, words from the news and everyday English for you to learn. The link is in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.